Hello, everyone. You can call me Alex, and today I want to talk about something really important. It's about perseverance. Yes, never giving up. Life is a long journey, filled with both simple and hard moments. We all have dreams and goals, but sometimes we face challenges. We might feel tired or sad, and think, "I can't do this." But remember, never give up. Think about when you were a baby, learning to walk. Did you fall down? Yes, many times. But did you stop trying? No, you kept going until you finally walked. The same applies to your dreams and goals. You must keep trying. Imagine a tree. When you plant a seed, does it become a tree overnight? No, it takes time. You need to water it, give it sunlight, and slowly it grows. Your dreams are like that seed. They need time, effort, and patience. Keep nurturing your dreams and never stop giving them light. There will be times when you fail, but that's okay. Failure is not the end; it's a lesson. Think of a scientist. When their experiment fails, do they stop? No, they learn from it and try again. You need to be like that scientist. Learn from your mistakes. Think about the famous people throughout history. Did they give up? No, they faced many difficulties but kept moving forward. You can achieve outstanding things if you persevere. Thomas Edison. The famous inventor of the light bulb failed many times before he succeeded. He tried over one thousand times before the light bulb finally worked. Can you imagine trying over one thousand times? Most people would give up after just a few attempts, but not Edison. He believed in his dream, learned from his mistakes, and finally succeeded. Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players, said, "I have missed over nine thousand shots in my career. I have lost almost three hundred games, twenty-six times." I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. So when you feel like giving up, think of your favorite athlete. Remember their hard work, their failures, and their eventual success. You can achieve the same if you don't give up. Let's talk about J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series. These books are loved by millions around the world, but before they were published, she faced rejection many times. She was a single mother with little money. And she wrote her first Harry Potter book in cafes. She sent her manuscript to many publishers, and all of them said no. But she didn't give up. She believed in her story and kept trying. Finally, one publisher said yes, and today her books are known worldwide. What if she had given up? We wouldn't have Harry Potter today. Now think about yourself. Yes, 
you. You have dreams and goals. Maybe you want to be a doctor, a teacher, or an artist. Whatever your dream is, it's possible, but it requires hard work and perseverance. Let me tell you about a man named Sam. Sam was born without arms and legs. Can you imagine how hard that must be? But Sam didn't give up. He learned how to do many things. He can swim, type, and even surf. He travels around the world, giving speeches and inspiring people with his story. Sam teaches us that anything is possible if you never give up. He once said, If I fail, I try again and again. If you fail, are you going to try again? The human spirit can handle much more than we realize. It's about how you finish. Are you going to finish strong? So when you face a big challenge, think of Sam. If he can do it, so can you. Sometimes we all need help, and that's okay. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your family, friends, or teachers. They want to see you succeed. Asking for help shows that you are serious about your dreams. It's not a weakness. It's a strength. Now let's talk about the power of words. Words are incredibly powerful. They can lift you up or bring you down. When you are learning English, the words you use are especially important. Be mindful of your words and choose them wisely. Let's focus on positive words first. Positive words give you strength and motivation. When you wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, I can learn English. Say, I will keep trying today and say, I will never give up. These positive words will give you the energy to keep going. Positive words can also help when you face challenges. If you find a word you don't understand, don't say, this is too hard. Instead, say, I can learn this word. Positive words change your mindset and make you believe in yourself. Now let's talk about negative words. Negative words can beat you down and make you quit. When you say, I can't learn English, you are telling your brain to stop trying. Negative words create barriers in your mind and stop you from achieving your goals. Avoid using negative words. Instead of saying, I'm terrible at English, say, I'm learning English. Instead of saying, I always make mistakes, say, mistakes help me learn. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. Wrongs are a part of learning, not something to fear. Speak words of encouragement to yourself. Believe in your ability to learn. You are on a journey, and though it may be long and hard, with a positive attitude and positive words, you will reach your goal. Never give up. You can do it.